the 21st of May, just doing a late night update, it's about 11.03 p.m., to let you know um, what's been going on in the last few days. Um, as you know, we left um, our friend's place in Falcon on Monday, I believe it was. Yeah, I think it was Monday. So, um, what have we done since then? Well, we've been trying to fix our generator so that we can have electricity, um, which is very important. So what we did is we ended up um, replacing the solenoid, spark plugs, and a fuse, which took care of the sparking issue. We are not getting fuel. Um, we think that it may be the fuel pump. At this point, we, we figured either fuel filter or fuel pump. We are taking it in um, Tuesday to figure out which, what it is, if it's those two things or something else. Um, and it is Saturday. Saturday. Is it Saturday? I believe it's Saturday going on Sunday. At any rate, it's the weekend. It's been kind of a, uh, not kind of, it's been an exhausting several days and uh, obviously stress-filled. And the Memorial Day weekend is coming up, so trying to find campsites at um, campgrounds is sketchy. I mean, you can find for a few days in um, national parks. So what we did is um, we were fortunate to find um, six days at uh, a campground, a uh, private campground, which is to the east of Colorado Springs. And I'm not gonna tell you, tell you the name until after we leave for privacy, but um, I will mention it after we leave. But at any rate, after boondocking for a few nights in Walmart parking lots, um, which is, you know, I'd be okay with that if we had a generator so that we could have electricity and, you know, run it or whatever, but um, not having electricity is not a good thing because we both work um, on board, so on board the RV or coach, whatever you want to call it. So long story short, we boondocked at the Platte Walmart um, in Colorado Springs and that was a, a good experience. Um, it is uh, relatively quiet, believe it or not, um, which is kind of surprising because it's known as, you know, maybe not the best Walmart in her area. And then um, for two nights, we boondocked over at the Palmer Park Walmart, Walmart on Space Center Drive in Colorado Springs. And that was a, a pleasant experience as well. There's a lot of things around you. Um, when you wake up, I mean, at night, it's it's not too bad. There's still some. You're basically you're near Powers Boulevard, and you're also um, near near Palmer Park. So these are these are busy streets. So during the day, it's just kind of heinous as far as noise and stuff. Um, but at night, it's not too bad. You still get some noise, but hey, you know. The assistant manager uh, we dealt with, Mike, I think his name was, was very, very nice and thanked us for actually asking if it would be okay. And, uh, you know, that's the thing about spending overnight. I mean, you should ask about these things and, and know. Like, there's no overnight parking at Platt, but we got permission to do that. So, just an FYI, if you're going to, and really, honestly, Staying in a Walmart parking lot is not actually full-on boondocking, let's face it. It's not dry camping like you're way up in a campground and you have no amenities or whatever. So, technically, it's not real, true, pure boondocking, but still, I'm going to use that term because we had no um, running water and, you know, hookups or anything like that. So at any rate, um, and if you see stuff behind me, it's because we, you know, threw a lot of stuff on the bed when we were coming over here, um, or 
when we arrived here and I just haven't put the boxes of stuff up. So where we are right now, we're in this campground for six days and nights. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, it's been pretty stressful, stressful trying to figure out what's wrong with the generator and so we can just kind of head, move forward and do what we need to do. Thankfully, um, my daughter, our daughter Brittany and um, her fiance Tack have been a tremendous help as they always are, um, helping us call around and, you know, helping us get the situation taken care of in uh, many ways. And so it's been great hanging around with her. I was able to work in her apartment um, because, you know, carry up my Mac and then work up there. So that's been, that's been great. I mean, I could have gone to a coffee shop, but hey, I got to spend time with my daughter. So that's incredible. So that's it from here, um, east of Colorado Springs, and this would be, I guess, officially be our first campground experience. Um, so far, we're liking it. Um, there, there's quite a few rabbits out here and other wildlife, <laughs> um, so you have to keep your dog's leash, and every, which we, we do anyway. Um, but it's quiet, and the people... Um, the owner's wife, I met her and she was able to, to get us in for six days. We're splitting between two campsites because um, this one's going to be used um, in a couple of days. So we're going to stay here a couple of days and then we're basically going to just drive to a different campsite in the same campground, <laughs> which is fine. So you've got, you can do, you know, you've got your restrooms, you've got your laundry, you've got your, um, the, they've got a store over here so you can get stuff and it's reasonably priced so you can dump your black and gray tanks and if you're staying here it doesn't cost anything to do that so um, we're gonna stay here for six days and um, enjoy the electricity and, and just work our butts off and hopefully come Tuesday we can find out um, exactly what else is gonna take to fix this generator and once the generators fixed that will be a huge thing positive thing. So if you have any questions or comments, um, leave them below. Make sure to check out our website, ghoulsonthego.com, where you can read our blog entries. Um, check us out on Facebook. Um, just look for Ghouls on the Go, um, Ghouls on the Go blog, I think it is. Just search for that. And make sure to like subscribe and comment. I usually do that the other, the other, um, my brain can't think. The, I usually say like, comment, and subscribe, but you, it doesn't matter, I guess. But if you would do that, that would be great. And then you can get our updates as far as when we visit different campgrounds. And once we leave those campgrounds, we will tell you about our experience and, um, you know, whether we liked it or not, and the things that we ran into, and positive and negative, and all that sort of thing. Be sure to check out my Instagram, which is Instagram.com, Mother of Crows with underscore in between um, Mother of Crows and so Mother underscore of underscore Crows. I'm going to be uploading some pictures from our first boondocking experience or I should say Walmarting experience. And for those who are wondering where you can spend the night um, legally, of course, this depends on the ordinances of the different cities that you're in. But my understanding is that Kmart is the first um, large retailer who that actually has a, an official policy about letting RVers stay the night um, for one night, overnight. Same thing for, we call it Tomahawk Travel Plaza. And I think it's like exit 128 or something like that off of I-25 through Colorado, not far, you know, Colorado Springs. And they do not have hookups for RVs, but they do allow you to spend the night um, overnight for one night. So if you're traveling in that direction, Tomahawk at that exit will allow you to stay there. Um, 
just let them know that you need to spend the night and it should be okay. You won't have any hookups, but if you have a generator, you should be fine. Other than that, thanks for checking up on us and we will update you um, as often as we can. And uh, we're gonna be working, trying to get as much work in the next you know, five, six days or whatever and then planning what we're gonna do on the morning of the 27th or before noon when we have to pull out, figure out where we're gonna go from there. So thanks for joining us once again. And if you have any comments or questions, you can comment below or you can send us an email through our website or whatever. Come see us on Facebook. You know what to do. Until later, a later time, um, we wish you the best. And I, I told Paul that probably after this generator thing, Maybe if you can do a vlog about that, that would be great to talk about our experiences because he's been the one that's been involved in this, um, physically involved in it, um, actually changing the solenoid and trying to figure out what's going on. So um, that's it for now. This ran a little bit longer than I expected, but my brain is scrambled eggs after the past week. <laughs> so um, good night, and we will talk to you later. Thanks.